All right, so this is obviously a Seto Kaiba cosplay update video, mainly on the card collection itself. Now this, I involved in this to make, in the video to make it a little interesting. I was lucky enough to find that for a decent price on eBay because they were selling for like 200 bucks, 300 if you wanted brand new. I didn't need new as long as it worked for what I needed. I haven't checked to see if the power worked because I have to order the batteries. Now, the biggest thing was to make a deck, and it's really hard when Seto Kaiba has a lot of cards he uses. The list was longer than any other character list I made. What I did was for each character I wanted to make a deck for, I made lists. Seto Kaiba took up two sheets of paper, front and back for the first one. Yugi, just front and back. Other cards I want, Bakura, just front so far. And because of that, I obviously want to collect any of the cards that I don't have, and the list is always being edited and changed depending on whether they it was credible on the list or not. Like, this was in a structure deck before, so it was on the list online, but after looking in the card details, I have never had that in this deck ever, so I crossed that one out. Um, I've been keeping track of which ones to order next. I have a Rude Kaiser, but it's in uh, extremely played condition, so I'm going to get a near mint one for the portfolio. This is where I put all the ones that aren't in here. Uh, only certain ones I'll have extra ones in there, other ones will just be sleeved and put in my tins. So there's a lot of cards I still need to get for Seto Kaibo. But despite lacking in certain ones, it wasn't too hard to make a deck. And make it based on what he uses. Whoopsie! There goes my blue eyes. Now, I never had the original print of the Blue Eyes until I ordered them. And I always check for that official seal. And all this stuff is from the Majestic Collection. I got all that and the sleeves. So that they all matched each other. <laughs> so I ordered these three from one seller. They were selling them for a really low price, which was nice. Even though just one of these in mint condition can worth up, be worth up to 10 bucks. So I was extremely grateful to find that. I'm still going to want more copies of the original print, but it's so hard to find that same deal again because other sellers are a little smarter and upping their price. This is the only copy of the Ultimate Dragon I have because I had to order this one as well. Any cards from when any of us were all kids, I never had any of these. And if I did, they would have been lost. So it's a basic deck of 40 cards here. This would obviously go in the extra deck. So I've included, obviously, the Crush card, Battle Ox, Ring of Destruction, Vorse Raider, Ring of Defense, Ruction Powered, Cost Down, Polymerization, which I would need for that um, one version of Obelisk that I have that is usable, meaning it doesn't have that... Coloring on the back, the Shrink Card, Card Destruction, the Virus Cannon, Soul Exchange, Lord of Dragons, Blue of Summoning Dragon, Pot of Greed Exchange, Bell Beast, Monster Born, Despair Limp, Graceful Charity, and all of this stuff, obviously. I have the Clowns in there, which are the way Seto Kaiba uses the Crush Card. And I added Regeki in there, because personally I find that really useful. <laughs> I have it set up a certain way for a reason. This is so hard with one hand. Sooner or later I'll get a stand for my cameras that I can just lay on a table and have it stay still in perfect visual format. Now, that light makes it look rainbow. This is the portfolio I bought. Pretty much all of this I got on eBay. So any of these that I didn't cards in here that I didn't already have through structure decks and stuff, I got on eBay. Now obviously the featured ones are the blue eyes. Even got some of the movie ones. I paid twenty bucks for uh Dark Side of Dimensions pack. 
I remember when this was only available if you got Pyramid of Light at a certain point of time before the thing expired for you to get the free cards. Now anybody can get that in certain packs. That's the holographic version. I have three other ones. This was my first ever obelisk. We've got Crush Garden here, Tutsume Giant, all of these. Now, some of these were obviously in the deck, and I just had extras of them. I do have the XYZs that he used. More blue eyes. <laughs> I ended up just putting all my blue eyes cards in here. Although I do have a lot of these. So I do have one up for sale. Doesn't mean I'm advertising it really here. It's not up on any website. But I'm going to have a list of all my extra cards for sale eventually for everything. And here's the other three. Shining Dragons I mentioned. I ordered one of these specifically on eBay. And then I also got it when I paid for the $20 pack of cards from Dark Side of Dimension. So I got a bunch of those. Shadow Spell, I didn't know it would be specifically colored like that when I ordered it, because I um it came in a pack of three, and they all have that holographic. Now, Vampire Lord, I didn't know why it was in the later um, SoCal Structure Decks until I rewatched the virtual reality segment, and I was like, ooh, Vampire Lord's pretty freaking awesome. Just like Kaiser Seahorse for the long time, I didn't realize what duels that was used in by Seto Kaiba, and then it's the same as the Vampire Lord. And this is the last page of what I have so far. Which I had to order this one specifically, too, because this was one for the Pyramid of Light um, original Yu-Gi-Oh! movie that you had to specifically send in the thing for. So there's still some cards I need to get, and I got plenty of room for them. That's what I have so far. So that's for the card updates. And the reason I'm just so into getting this done and only putting Sotokaiba related cards in here is just because that's one of the cosplays I wanted to do in high school and I never bothered getting any of the stuff for it until I could actually afford it. Especially when some of the prices for some of these things have gone down. I mean, it's really sad when certain blue eyes cards you can find easily like these ones with the, the, this one, that one doesn't have the tablet behind it, but these ones with the tablet behind it, you can find those ones easy now. These ones aren't too hard. This one I had to specifically order because it's a different design. Um, or did I get that one in a deck? No, I think I got that one actually in the Legendary Collection. Yeah, the so Sidoka have a Legendary Collection that they had for 30 bucks at Walmart. They kept selling out of that really fast, and now they've overstocked on it, and it's like everybody who wanted it already has that legendary collection box. Which came with a very specific version of Lord of D. Like, he's got a guitar and all this stuff, all metal. Heavy metal stuff. It's musically related. Might be able to show it. We teleport over to the tins. This one has certain specific ones. I still need to open that. And like my magicians and stuff like that. I don't know why that moved over there. They're... Unless they all that. Well, it's got magician stuff. Oh yeah. If you've ever played Duel Links, I love this guy. I love him so much. This is my Rude Kaiser I was talking about. Look at those corners. It's hard to tell when he's in the sleeve, but those corners are terrible on the scratch. Okay, so there's all the other Blue Eyes cards. And because they kept re-releasing the Blue Eyes structure decks, that's not really worth as much anymore. 
Then I said, okay, I have a 10. This has all the other extra cards I have in it, and this is completely full, pretty much. So everything else has been going in that box I told you about. I also did get this new one, the Legendary Dragon decks that comes with the Dark Magician Dragon Knight. But it's mostly trap cards in here. And I keep the extra sleeves. So it came with a very specific car that had a, he has a blue eyes guitar. Now the Legendary Collection also came with one of these cardboard playing fields that also work as a little visor. If you've ever remembered the um, original Legendary Collection that came with the collectible versions of the God cards, they re-released that too, so now those are going down in value because they keep re-releasing stuff. But I mean, it makes them money. So we got a beautiful new version of her. We got a new ring and the Lord of Dragon with the guitar. Which I thought was really cool. Took me a little bit before I could actually get it. All the clear sleeves. The colored ones are for other things. Like I still have some of these left. Because it was a pack of 50. And I only used 41. I wanted to use these for my own deck. <laughs> it's like, why not? Star Wars is awesome. These are just ones that I got from purchasing cards online and they put colored sleeves. I got these two for different stuff. I'm probably going to put Yugi's deck in the red one. I really kind of want to get something like Ghost Pokemon or Creepy for Bakura's deck. Something that fits Bakura. And I obviously mean Yami Bakura since Ryo Bakura doesn't actually duel. Except in video games. <laughs> Sleeve stayed out. Stick dead all day. So that's all I have for the card part of the cosplay. I'll have another cosplay update video eventually, but I, I still have a few details to work out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't bore you. Hope it was actually interesting and stay weird.